Welcome back to the studio. My name is Carson and this is K2 Productions as always. Today we are going to be talking about my huge box that I got here. Now, I hope it's all backwards. Well, it says Ziltek and I think most of you know that that's a filament producer. So today what I'm going to show you guys is actually a humongous, absolutely enormous roll of filament a Texas sized roll of filament and so we're gonna get right into it I'm gonna open it up and we'll see what it looks like this just came in the mail this morning I ordered this roll because it's about the most cost-effective for this large amount of filament that I need I need a really big roll um, and the reason I need a really big roll is because I'm about to start working on my clone trooper stuff again. Mm -hmm. So a little teaser for the future. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at that massive roll of filament. Literally humongous. Okay. Oh. Holy moly. Why are you guys so tall? Yeah, sure. And here we are. Look at this bigger than my head. Massive. So you're probably thinking a lot of things right now. Carson, where did you get that filament? Carson, how much did it cost? Carson, how are you even gonna put that on your printer? Carson, why are you so handsome? What? Well, my friends, I'm gonna tell you all about it. First of all, let's see. What do they got on this little paper? So. It originally cost $84.95, but uh, I ended up getting it for $77.21 with shipping. So there was $5 shipping, um, <clears throat> but I used Galactic Armory's code, which I should freaking get sponsored by that dude. Man, I advertise him so much. But if you use code Galactic Armory, you can get 15% off. I think it's 15% off. 10%, maybe something like that. I can't remember. Anything, hey man, I'm just trying to save some money. But uh, so yeah, it total after that code with shipping was seventy seven twenty one for me, which um, let's see if you do the math, it's about fifteen and some cents. It's about fifteen and some cents per kilogram, which is pretty dang good deal. And if you didn't figure it out already, I got it from Ziltek, obviously. Now the next question you guys asked, or if you didn't ask, I asked. You know, you're probably thinking. I actually didn't even think of this until I started watching videos about people buying it. But uh. How the heck am I supposed to put this on my printer and let it roll? Because my little, you know, fill my filament roller thing is uh, not near big enough for this beastly monster of a thing. Well, I did a little internet scrounging and I figured it out, hopefully. Although while I'm looking at it, uh, this roll might not work. It was at that point in the video that I realized that I had mm, a big problem, big problem. All right, guys, it's the next day. Um, I had to do a little bit of problem solving because as I was pulling out my filament, I'll show you, the, uh, the spool rollers that I had planned were not going to work. So you can see this filament is very wide right here as opposed to the normal thickness that of, you know, the rolls, this, this spool is normally you know this big and so in the videos that i was watching uh, about people buying these they were that thick so i didn't think that i was gonna have a problem so what my plan was and what these other people in these videos had done is they find this little file on thingiverse and i'll, I'll link it down in the description so you guys can find it too and so you got to print out four of these little these gray pieces right here that's why i printed out and what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to go, you see how there's this space right here? They're supposed to go flush together and you put bearings in them. I have four bearings in each of mine now, but you're supposed to only have two because they're supposed to go flush together because they're only supposed to be the, you know, like that wide to roll the filament in it. So that's what my plan was to do. But when I unboxed my filament yesterday, I realized that the filament is way wider or the, the spool is way wider than the normal ones are. And so I realized I had a problem and I had to do some improvising. So I didn't really want to reprint out anything because, well, for one, I have, I have a piece of my chess piece printing out downstairs right now, so I couldn't print anything. So I tried to figure out some quick fixes. And what I did is I just 
So you get these little bearings. They're called 608 bearings. You buy them on Amazon. I'll put the link uh, that I bought them from in the description in case you really can't figure out which one you want. And you want to be like confident that this is the one that you got. Um, and you, they're supposed to only be one in each side. And now there are two, as you can see. So I had to use four. And thank goodness I ordered the 10 pack because I almost ordered the six pack, but it was more expensive than buying 10. So thank goodness that's how it was because I would have been in trouble. I would have only had six bearings and not been able to do this and I would have been mad. So now I just modified these. I took a little bit of polystyrene that I have. That's what this plastic white stuff is sitting around in my house. And all I did is I, I put the, I fitted these together so that there were four, two on each side. And I just held them together and then put them on the polystyrene and traced them out and then cut it out and just super glued it onto the bottom. And then for a little bit of extra measure, I put them on both sides just to make sure that they're going to stay. And now they're like, they're pretty solidly kept together. I don't want to like really stress them, but they're, they're pretty kept together. So I am not concerned with them falling apart or anything. So what happens is you sit them like this. And then you put the roll the filament on top and each sides of the spool go on these and then it you know rolls and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to unscrew my that little arm thingy that holds onto it and i'm just going to set these right on top of my my uh, control box and set the big print the big huge roll filament on there and let it roll hey everyone it is now the like fourth day of these dumb little filament movers and thank goodness i didn't upload this video right away because i actually i started so basically i i you know took the things that i had just shown you and i started a print and all of a sudden like eight hours into it i was like my my wheel the the spool was like turning i was like what's because uh, i was down there just hanging out doing like playing games and stuff and um I saw that it started turning. I was like, what the heck is going on? I just thought that maybe it was like pulling from the wrong side or something like that. And I go over there and I find out that the little rod that keep the bearings, you know, like in their spots, like where they can turn broke. One of them just broke. The bearings had just right through the floor. The, I guess it was too much weight. I'm not really sure. Um, so once again, I had to figure out what the heck to do. So basically what I did is this morning i i uh you know found some random crap in my garage so these are little dowels they're little dowel rods you know like what you would use to like like drill holes and and put um put uh into wood to like join two pieces of wood together they're little dowel rods and all i did was just i took a drill and drilled hole i snapped off all the the uh extra little things that were keeping the the bearings up there and I just took a drill and drilled a hole straight through and then shoved the dowel rod through the bearings. And so now it's working again. I'm about to do a like 13 hour print. So hopefully it makes it all the way through that. And if it does, then I think I can successfully post this video and feel good about myself and not feel like I'm telling you guys like horrible information. But uh, I'm so glad that I didn't post this video right away because I would have literally put this out and been like, hey guys, it actually didn't work. They broke. <sighs> so I'm here editing this video. You can probably hear my printer going on in the background. It's over there. And you can see right there that the, the spool is going well. So I hope it's been going. I printed a couple things. And it's doing all right, so I hope that it continues to work. And I've been printing a couple things, and like I've gotten a couple of my clone and trooper armor stuff come off of it, and it's been doing pretty good. So I'm hoping that everything will be all right with it. It's been going. The only problem that I've had is one time in like you know in a print that was going for like like 16 hours or something like that near the end it it i think i think the filament just got caught like when it was trying to turn the filament was like pulling from one side so it was being weird i'm not really sure but other than that everything's been growing great so uh it gets my approval for you guys to try it so go for it i guess that's all for today guys though i just wanted to show you the huge roll of filament that i bought and 
Uh, so expect new clone trooper videos coming soon because that's what I bought the filament for and we are back in business. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you are new here, definitely think about subscribing. I make all kinds of videos about just making stuff in general, uh, clone trooper stuff, Harry Potter stuff, you know, all kinds of random junk. Don't forget to comment down in the below. If you have any questions, you can also follow us on Twitter at productions K2. And that's really about all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time in the studio. Stay safe out there, guys, and get out and make something.